Awesome. As I get old, I realize more and more things aren't for me. Got an ad for an arthritis medicine yes. with mm. Apollo Abdul, and it's mm, maybe yes. the greatest online ad I've it? ever seen. Yes. Oh my God, she looks rough. No offense to Paula Abdul. <laughs> she's like a but... rough 50 something. Wow, she's really dancing though. She's killing this I know, dance. it's so insane. It's like, why is this happening? Why do you think I need arthritis? Voltaren. <laughs> wow, this is wild. I know, it's, it's favorite like, Instagram yes. ads. <laughs> they aren't trying to sell me toothpaste anymore. They aren't trying to sell me things that, I I, I know what brand of toothpaste I'm gonna buy, yeah. but I'm still very much open on arthritis medication. <laughs> I get so many other Instagram ads are like, you should get ripped or get this or get that and we're like no no you should you get arthritis, arthritis. <laughs> you should give up on trying to be ripped hey noah do you know what time it is what time is it it's time to talk about death and taxes and now i'm not allowed to dance no do the music of me. no <laughs> do it Dude. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Talk About Death and Taxes. On this show, we do exactly what the name describes. It's a very utilitarian title. Uh, we talk about death and taxes, the two things that Benny Franklin said were inevitable in life. Uh, today, well, I mean, every I time. never verified that. Really? <laughs> that he said that. I no, think he definitely he said that. Oh, he did? I'm, yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure. I, pretty, I, I think so. I, I remember last week we were still we were questioning. It's like, did we ever verify that? <laughs> I need to put this quote up on the board. I don't feel like we need to verify them. quotes, you know. The quotes, the magic is in what you think of it. So. That's actually true. That's actually super true. Is yeah. it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's well, a, no, you can, you so. can quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, cool. I am sitting down with Steven Scriber and James Champlin. Is it cool if I use your full name, James? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's um, out there. Sweet. Um, cool. Guys, explain your qualifications so that people understand why they should listen to you. Okay. I'm Steven Schreiber. Also, this gets weirdly formal every time we do this. And it doesn't have to be like oh, super no. duper like. I, I, oh, no. I'm Steven. I walked in off the street today. Um, <laughs> but I, um, I'm an attorney. Um, I own uh, modern estate planning. Um, we do really anything to help people protect their family and get their kind of shit together to make sure that they can protect their legacy. Yeah. Um, Sweet. And I'm James Chaplin. I'm an associate here, and I've been an attorney for about eight years. Did a little bit of criminal law, a little bit of other stuff, and now I do this. Sweet. <laughs> whatever <laughs> this is. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, exactly. Now That's I do like whatever like, Stephen tells me to do. I showed up. I think it's enough that I showed up today. <laughs> like, <laughs> fantastic. Um, yeah, these guys are attorneys. They've been to law school, uh, Duke, Notre Dame, years and years. Eight eight years of school for law. I mean, I, I graduated in twenty eleven. Okay, and so, I graduated twenty twelve. Gotcha. How many years is it if all of college? If you had to add up all your college years, how many? I years was in is that? school consistently from age five to age twenty eight. So oh I, have, <laughs> wow. I remember it'd be like, no. oh, I should, I should, because I went from like primary school to. College, then I had my master's program, then I had um, three years in law school. Yeah. And then people were like, You should go back. Yeah, like people were like, I should go to grad school. I was like, I would rather not. <laughs> Never again. Yeah, you're gonna quit when you're like 45. <laughs> and I did not do a master's program, so I just got through with seven years. There you go. College Good and stuff. Law school. Yeah. Good stuff. And all the stuff before that. Sweet. So yeah. anyway, if you're wondering. Even though I do have dreams that I forgot to take a class in high. I literally had a dream the other day. I, I didn't mm -hmm. finish my high school English class. And like oh, right now, as an attorney, I had to go back and redo it. That sounds horrible. I have those too that I, I'm missing credits and I have to go and I have to move out of my old apartment from law school. <laughs> yes. But I still own my house. <laughs> yes. If all that occurred, yeah. I'd still have mm -hmm. all my other things. Yeah. I, I always freak out that like I have this dream that I miss a final that like. But also, I don't even care that much about grades, so it's really it's weird to me that I anyway anyway hey, that's sorry. why that's why you should listen to these guys. <laughs> yeah. um, they're smart. They know what they're talking about. They got the law in their brain. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, on this show, we talk about uh, estate planning questions from the internet. Um, we've been hitting up Quora. A lot of the uh, questions on this episode are going to be from Quora, um, which is almost worse in some ways than Avvo.com. <laughs> we need to get the Yahoo answers. We're like <laughs> one step away. We exactly. need to work up to that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, a year from now, I'll be ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we also uh, talk about other stuff. Um, we're going to talk about some news headlines uh, and and just just and some movie stuff. It's gonna be it's gonna be really a trip. You should really strap on in. Um, great. The first thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, 
we're recording, uh, this is going to go out a little bit later uh, than when we recorded it. But, um, you know, as things work, um, the debate happened this week. The uh, first one. The first presidential debate with Donnie Trump and Joe Biden. Maybe the only mm-hmm. debate. Yeah, I, that'd be nice. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah. well, I think what the president, he might actually have to quarantine for the debate. Mm. Oh, I think I'll make him do it via Zoom. Oh, God. I heard that would be the worst video Are, are they going to make him use WebEx? <laughs> 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 the idea of having to wait in a waiting room to make the president wait that's in the what, waiting room. That's, a, that's what really gets Stephen's uh, funny bonus jokes about <laughs> video conference apps. It's been about six months. Stephen's a real target market for yeah. video conference apps. Jokes. I am. I'm embarrassed. Yeah. But six months later, so it's funny. like, admit. Do you want to admit? And, and like Chris Wallace be like, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, though, like it, the, the video conferencing software that they might have to use is like probably, that's going to be a weirdly huge endorsement. And, someone, for, and then like, someone company. trying to figure out how to hack into that video conference yeah right to like show right. pictures of like something <laughs> hilarious i wouldn't be surprised if they figured out a way to put him somewhere and do almost like a hardwired yeah like oh yeah they, yeah that's true probably just like what they do on the tv network they would just kind yeah. of beam him in he's not yeah. gonna be like on an ipad being like how do i turn the, <laughs> how do I turn the mic on? how do you turn this on i don't get it carrying the phone with him as he walks around yeah, the white exactly. house he like goes, like to, the, coffee, he goes like, to the bathroom yeah. he, like, he forgets to mute himself someone in the background <laughs> is talking flushes. it's bad did you, yeah. imagine, no, did, you, did you guys see that like one, the supreme court arguments back when everybody was first doing like online classes have you seen that one video when the girl like accidentally takes her laptop with her to the bathroom she realized Hilarious. Really good. I love that if that was in the de- next debate. Anyway, um, I found some great tweets from the debate that I thought uh, I would read, and then we could just talk about our general reactions to the debate and our like loss of hope for humanity. Um, <clears throat> Still plan your estate. Yeah, seriously. Plan yeah. to live. <laughs> um, Somehow. Zach Bernstein says, uh, and these are all tweets. You can go find them over on Twitter.com. They sponsored the show. They did not. Um, this feels like when you can hear mom and Hitler fighting in the other room. <laughs> uh, uh, was going to live tweet, but it's hard to type this entire news at the same time. <laughs> I really nice. like that one. <laughs> that was pretty dark. Um, I'm sorry. It didn't go over as good as I thought it would. I'll see it one more time. Uh, he says, I was going to live tweet, but it's hard to type and tie this noose at the same oh, time. Oh, tie this noose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hashtag debate 2020. Uh, this debate is unfortunately between a steamroller with no operator and a Roomba that got stuck in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. Um, this one says, men are too emotional to be president. I thought that nice. was pretty funny. That's a good, that's a good that's zinger. Good. That's a good zing. Mark Hamill says. Well, there's one man is. Yeah. I'm not saying names. Oh, oh In case it. the secret police find me. <laughs> um, Mark Hamill says, uh, that debate was worse, was the worst thing I've seen since the start. Uh, Who? That debate was the worst thing I've ever seen, and I was in the Star Wars holiday special. I thought that was a pretty solid. And that was depth, a the great. depth of that tweet is. I mean, have you guys seen the Star yes. Wars holiday Lance, special? Yes, Lance bad. makes me watch it. Oh, it's so bad. It's really bad. It's so kind of, bad. Okay, With there the parts of I think are kind of funny. Like there's, you know, what things but not like, on purpose. And that's my point. If things that are so bad that they're funny. I could literally yeah. make a podcast of movies that are so bad they're funny, like <laughs> the Cube. It's called How Did This Get Made? It's uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> God damn it! And they and they don't, did. Don't, don't plug other podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Cut oh. that out. Cut it. <laughs> they didn't do the. Star Wars holiday special, which is a shame. <laughs> um, and then uh, uh, this, I thought this one was great. Uh, it's from a person named Z- Z- Zawi. Um, they're verified, so you know they're legit. Uh, God, so I want to get verified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. I think we're a little bit far from that, but that's okay. Um, not eventually, I'm a few thousand there. friends away, and you get to, <laughs> once again those K-pop kids need to step up and get me verified. <laughs> um, I don't know what I can give them, but <laughs> Wallace, who is the debate moderator, he goes, uh, "Condemn white supremacy." Uh, Biden goes, "Yeah, say it." The, the president makes this face. <laughs> And it's it's like Shrek, and he's like, ooh, like I don't know. It's really good, but um, yeah, I don't know. But if it helps, I guess white people in particular, that this is in the history of the United States, not that bad a year. Like, there's no war, no one's being lynched, there's no. 
I don't know. Is, I, that, is that the standard I, that we're going to kind of go forward now with? Like, maybe. No, no, no I, it's, I would it's, agree. It's like, it's, like, it's like the first time that, I guess it's fascinating to me, it's like the first time that like there's a middle income, middle and upper America feels as uncomfortable as lower income Americans do about yeah. the state of the future. Yeah, that's super true, actually. That's actually, that's a great point. That's so, a great point. I guess, I don't know. But I guess, it, and I guess the point is like, I don't know, that was it that, um, God, oh God, why my brain free? You're fine. But the, but the hustle is real, and yeah. it is real, and now it's real for middle income people too. For everybody, now everybody's <laughs> got to deal with existential dread. For the future. It's like people are like, mm. oh, our country elected someone I don't like. I'm like, it happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, like we don't it, to... it pretty much happens every time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's, there's no civil wars. We have our houses. On the upside, an autocracy. We'll probably be fairly comfortable in it. At least my retirement account keeps going up in it. <laughs> like, it could be worse. I mean, it could also be better. Like, I could have my vote. I think there's count. a lot going on that could be better right now. I mean, oh, a lot. 100%. Yeah. We could have not have a pandemic. That the, would be the first clutch. question here. That would be pretty <laughs> sick. Um, the first question here is, Stephen, is there anything Joe Biden uh, could do to make you not vote for him? Oh no! <laughs> like, uh, but I was thinking we could get creative. Okay, like, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna stick with this because my partisan leanings are clear. Yeah, I support Joe Biden. I supported Barack Obama. I even supported John Kerry, even though he made it really hard to like him. <laughs> but I am a Democrat. But even amongst my democratic times I, this is probably the most I love the 2008 I bought like I could not have been more in the tank for Barack Obama yeah and now I'm somehow resignedly in the tank for Joe Biden that's like <laughs> James we're gonna play a game mm -hmm. we're both Joe Biden okay we're gonna come up with things that Do I have to smell someone's hair <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Joe Biden would get my vote if he smelled my hair <laughs> Uh, we're, okay. we're both or, Joe or Biden. Or touch my shoulders. Uh -huh. We're both gonna do in, my air. increasingly yeah. awful things to Steven. And we're gonna see if Steven will vote for Dude, us. This is great SNL thing okay. with, yeah. I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> Alright, I'll start. I'll start. Just Dude, so this great format. SNL thing about Barack Obama that how many black if Barack Obama stole your money, would you vote for him? I was like, yes. <laughs> Um, what if what if Joe Biden like robbed your house and like stole like I don't know what's something that you really like in your house all like, the copper out of your walls yeah he stole all your <laughs> copper out of your walls sure he could have my vote right. but he because he will always steal what I have or as I'm concerned Donald Trump will steal my future <laughs> <laughs> James how about you you got you got one what if Joe Biden did this no this isn't a fun what game. if he um I just I can't think of anything that would like sway you. I mean I mean my I my, wish I could be swayed. Like, I about, wish he I, yeah. what, like what if he took you into a room and, and cut off all your fingers? I could still vote, <laughs> can't I? The problem yeah. is he's making it harder to vote. Right, <laughs> like, it's harder to physically vote, but you would try to vote. I would make my efforts what to if, what vote if it was... for him. Yeah, I try to think what okay. Joe Biden would do that would be existentially worse to the system. What about like? What about like? Is Joe Biden is unless he actually like, was unless he actually turned out to be a fascist? Yeah. What if he <laughs> pulled off his like human mask to yeah. reveal himself as a reptilian? Yeah, that would be no. There's a press conference. I love that. It. Would be more yeah. fascinating. There's a press conference. Joe mm -hmm. Biden removes his face and he says, "Hi, I'm a lizard man, and I still have all my same ideals and like my same political." Oh, well, I guess we have to keep. <laughs> going then <laughs> we have to see this through you have to Fair see man. this lizard man through we, we've already had like Wait, honestly in unprecedented oh. times this would literally be like huh let's keep going actually though if he's a lizard man though is he actually eligible to be no the but maybe senator harris could be yeah because well what if they're both lizards that's true yeah, that would be more disappointing with no, Senator Harris. I expect crisis. more. I expect more from her. I think Nancy Pelosi. I think you have to keep going down because I yeah. guess the electors would have. Because I, th I think if the they're both candidates were disqualified, I think the electors could still be elected, and then they'd have to pick someone new to vote for. Mm. But they, I think they would still be pledged Democratic electors. So I guess the Democratic Party didn't have to find somebody. And they had to find the, high, the best person who's not a reptilian. Lizard. Yeah, which would be tough to do, you know? Yeah, I mean, it'd be they're... tough. Like, like, um, like, the candidates I would have had a yeah. harder time voting for would be Michael Bloomberg, who's clearly a racist. Yeah. And he doesn't know. And then, like, Mayor Pete, because Mayor Pete is around my age. And I don't know anyone who's around my age I would trust 
to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> like we were like, I want a thirty something of your presence. Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, everyone I know in their thirties is a mess. <laughs> I love it. Um, cool. Second question is how same do for John Ossoff, who I may probably will vote for, who's younger than me. What the fuck? No one younger than me should be a senator. <laughs> Anyway, oh, I've got I've got a bunch of those commercials. Like, uh, uh, yeah, I'm getting served YouTube ads. This is also me getting yeah. old. You're fine. Um, cool. Uh, how do we feel about Donald Trump paying seven hundred and fifty dollars in federal income tax? Okay, in then we can jump to the second topic. Okay, so this is a tax topic. I'm, I'm on yeah. brand again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good that I made more money on paper than Donald Trump's business did. Yeah. So, tip of the hat to me. But, um, like, but like he did that I think I But think it is that, fascinating That our tax policy Allows you to carry Insane amounts of losses Over year by year mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It's Cynically I Republicans were a little bit Right in tax policy We need to bring rates down And to simplify the structure And also we'll Stop allowing these Giant losses If your business Is losing that much money Maybe it shouldn't be rewarded Right. I think yeah. that what I found was the most interesting is like, I think that I was shocked at how many people were surprised that, like, you know, I mean, and I think it was like pearl clutching. I'm like, surprised he paid anything at all. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Because, I mean, 750 feels like such a random number. That's something I would think. It's like, okay, no one's. Gonna, it's, like, it's like when no. people do tax fraud on the other side. It's like, I'm going to get a million dollar refund. Right. <laughs> it's like yeah. a million exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. what, Not how do you get 36,000? Yeah. How did you get 750? How did your tax guy be like, crunch, 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 crunch? 750. 50 even yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah i don't know i just i mean you know i've 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 read not 743 not 753 750 <laughs> i don't know why but i think odd numbers feel more authoritative when you're making it up i read i read rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki who is friends with the president and has a couple weird trippy youtube videos where he sits down with trump let me put my surprise face <laughs> <laughs> like, wait. Yeah, and and in that book he talks about like yeah like rich people like once you hit a certain level, like you can hire a bunch of accountant professionals and they will go through your tax return and like, you know, you just don't have to pay taxes like after you hit a certain okay. level. Okay, <laughs> I, oh God, I hate this country. Sometimes I hate our tax code so much. No, and I understand that. But I, I just, yeah, with, I with a deep offense, and I remember taking federal income tax, a class that I still stand by, I bombed it. <laughs> I, I got a, no one ever hired me to do your income taxes. I got, I while I dominated f gift and estate tax, I got a solid C on federal income tax, which in law school is like an <laughs> F minus. Yeah, that's hard. It could not be a worse grade. I think we literally had a series of multiple choice questions where things would be like one off answer, one off answer. It's like, 751 or 752 and i would always be like one off for like <laughs> all these questions i may have literally just burned my bridges by like slight math errors so if you're out there listening and you need an attorney who knows what he's doing and will do a great job <laughs> scriber law i know i know one thing i do gift tax i do estate tax i do not do federal income taxes they're fortunately different books yeah and it's it's <laughs> and I, just, I, I mean the show is called Let's and talk also about i got tax. a really 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 good grade on value added tax. Like, just because he's which, not good yeah. at tax, which doesn't mean he isn't like talking about it. Okay, got oh, no, it. I have, I have thoughts about tax. Yeah, we're strong <laughs> okay. opinions. We just don't no, know no, how no, it no. works. I, I guess my point is that it shouldn't be so complicated that right. ostensibly very smart people have str struggle through this. Yeah. Like, I'm not a. I like to think I'm not a dumb person, but even I, you should, I should not have to work my way through a giant book at Duke Law so I could figure out how to calculate numbers for people who are hiding cash. It's it's accounting it's, accounting companies that are that are lobbying. That's that's one of the reasons why we haven't had a good tax. Oh yeah, code yeah. Into into what's actually one of the biggest captors of our tax code. Yeah. They don't, they don't want any changes because they want it to be complicated, they, so you have to use their programs. Yes, right. they, they, yes, exactly. There was a campaign in California in particular to make it so that income tax was already calculated. They would send yeah. you a return, and you could sign it and agree with it. You mean like what they do in the rest of the world? Everyone in the rest of the world. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> You could sign and agree with it, or if you actually wanted to be like, no, I want different numbers. You could actually prepare your tax return. Right. It's a default. Like this is. But they get default. Here's your yeah. refund. Yeah. If you agree with this refund or agree with this check, let us know. Which would be amazing. Because the government yeah. has your numbers. They know. Like, when I run payroll. Because when the you send them send, a wrong number, I, they tell you, no, you're wrong. 
Yeah, right. I send my W all uh, my entire stat. Everyone I pay, the IRS gets their numbers every quarter. And so it, it should be able to match it up. And rich people have the advantage because the government doesn't keep rich people's numbers on hand, even though they easily could. So so let's put on let's put everybody take for a moment take put on your idealist hat. Everybody ready? Okay. Boom! I, t I put mine on. Sure. <laughs> um, mine was already on. I put it got, on. Oh, you put it on. I before put it the on show. before I gotcha. start. Okay. Yeah. Uh, st yeah. There, Steven's got his. On. It's more of a helmet. I think. Yes. Yeah, yes. An ideal. Because I'm, I'm going to take some blows on this. <laughs> 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 um, we have a simplified tax code. Everybody, you know, it's a scaling one or whatever with that nice little bucket thing where the people at the bottom uh, pay a little bit, but as you make more income, progressive. It gets progressive. Yeah, yeah. It's progressively more when you get into a different income bracket. Uh, and it's just flat, and it's, there's not super complicated rules. That's what we're aiming for. How do you? Some do you people are aiming for it, right? right. So, what do you think the path to something like that it actually is? What okay. do you think it practically looks like? Cynically, most Americans do support higher taxes, yeah. especially since it should scale with income distribution. But I don't know. I mean, what you would probably do is lower rates and get rid of most of that book and. Get rid of it. But I guess, because I guess you could lower more, the deductions dramatically. My question is more: Who would be? Who, I mean, in a practical sense, what would have to happen for us to move oh, to that to direction? It would have to go through Congress. Got so I, I, mean, I think the first step yeah. is going to be taking steps against industry capture and filibustering. And filibustering. What is yeah. industry capture and filibustering? Uh, industry capture is essentially where. Uh, regulatory agencies are staffed or often run by people that used to work for or lobby for the industry they're supposed to be regulating. So a really good example is the FCC, right? Uh, they're headed by Ajit Pai, that's yeah. his name, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And he used to what, be a super high up at Comcast, mm -hmm. and he came in and just immediately was like, we're Head getting rid of net neutrality, we're doing all these things. So that's industry capture. helped Comcast. Gotcha. They're basically <laughs> people that are whatever, put into yeah. positions of power to make changes that actually like keep business from going and then to overboard and then, yeah, then immediately after they working for them. then immediately after the regular leaves they go back to industry to Usually get another lobbying. payday yeah yeah so essentially by by acting a certain way they're kind of building themselves a golden parachute to jump out and, and land somewhere nice so maybe we elect the right president who signs an executive we, order we need says, civil the thing is we need that's civil, not a, yeah. it's not a party issue we need right? a, we Both need parties a, do that we need reforming at I mean, back in the old days they had civil service reform to like limit political appointees for like regular jobs like being mailman or something like that but we probably also need some version of civil service reform for um, bureaucrats who would have the power to Congress would have to pass that. Okay. They would have to, we have to yeah. regulate like you couldn't have worked in the industry before and after. And so, I mean, in theory, what we would do is cultivate our own regulators from the beginning of their careers and let them and keep them throughout their whole careers as a regulator and not have them cross over to industry. So that might involve paying them more yeah. and building in more safeguards and things that you have to go through that you can't regulate an industry that you worked for. And, and I also think a big step would be a reduction in 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 the amount of lobbying that we have and the amount of, of power that they're able to exert through through money. And like that's I harder. think it's I think it's too much. That's a constitutional issue potentially because right. of Free the Supreme Court and, and the Supreme Court. Citizens and all United. That. And yeah, like, I really don't like Citizens United. But I'd um, love but, to see that go away. But that's you would have to the soccer yeah. team, right? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's the soccer team. <laughs> Uh, Sorry. <laughs> what, is, it, what is Citizens United? It's a Supreme know. Court case. Um, oh, essentially, okay. they, the, the, the walk away is that money is free speech and the, it, it, it curtailed government efforts to regulate the amount of money you can spend on political causes. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. And, and then there's something there about like corporations as well. So corporations since, are since more corporations like are treated like people. Right. You know, so yeah, I, I think there should be bigger limits on on what on corporations that. can do as far as dropping money on politicians. So just to recap, you said the first thing was called when someone jumps industry, from industry capture, industry capture, industry capture. Yeah. love that. The second mm -hmm. one is called I would, lobbying, lobbying. lobbying. Yeah. I would propose filibuster reform. Filibuster reform, yeah. Can, yeah. can we dive into that real quick? What does yes. that mean? So in the Senate, this is a historic. It's entirely a rule issue in the Senate that to pass anything. You had to have 60 votes. It sort of used to be 67, but two thirds votes, but now it's 60 votes. Mm -hmm. um, and so that allows the minority to stop anything happening in the Senate. Historically, it was only used against civil rights bills. They would literally only, I think, between 
the beginning of the country in the 1960s, it was literally only used to stop anti-lynching bills and anti-voting bills for black people. So, but everyone else agreed everything else will pass because we're gentlemen. But then in the post um, LBJ era, the the, the minority has been using it to stop anything. Yeah. Um, so now you have to have 60 votes to pass a bill. But what it really does is that it allows politicians to avoid passing anything. So if you're a conservative Republican, it prevents you from actually having to pass your own agenda, which you know was unpopular. And same for liberal Democrats. Um, it allows moderate Democrats to not pass the agenda because you're, you don't have to, for reasons, yeah. um, it, it, it might be unpopular. So essentially it freezes the Senate in like stasis forever. Um, the only things that got rid of filibuster for recently are for judicial nominees. So they can cram those through. Um, but for the most part, every other piece of legislation in this country has been sitting there. Yeah, filibuster. Like, yeah. When a filibuster is when somebody's like, I'm going to talk yeah, for 30 hours. Talking, yeah. Yeah, like oh, yeah, yeah, hours essentially, hours. oh, yeah. That's a process where filibustering is a process of preventing yeah. a vote. Gotcha. Yeah. And so historically, you'd have to literally like, was it um, Mr. Smith goes to Washington where you literally have to stand to there at the podium and talking. Now they've made it so you can just virtually do it more or less. And yeah. you can like, can't you like switch out? Oh, you can tag out like yeah. a wrestling match? Think, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Different people. You used to be able to I keep the debate going forever, yeah. but that was the number of people you needed to like stop this from stop the insanity is that you can call two thirds of the Senate to be yeah. like, no, we're having a vote. Right. Did you guys ever play? Uh, Tekken Tag Tournament. It was no. a game for no. PS2. No, it was like I was never a fighting tag. game person. Just yeah, they're not it fun. for me. It's you just like, hit the button. Yeah, like, I was never good enough to actually learn combos. I was going to be like, just a lot of combo codes. I yeah, who's got the time? Yeah, like I remember it was like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, but like even then I wasn't very good at them. Yeah. Not because yeah. I oppose violence, because it was literally so much effort to learn those <laughs> combo codes, and yeah. it's like, ah, oh, we'll sorry, I'm it. derailing us away from that. But um, um, if, what do you think is the percent? Just to end cap this conversation, uh, percent chance. In the next 20 years, we move away from the H&R block into its software system to, hey, everybody, we're just going to do a flat tax and the government's going to just send it's you It's fairly close to um, zero. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I would say it's low. Like, I think there's enough people that, that want to do it or are, like, willing to push for it that it's not it's, – I wouldn't say it's zero. Oh, no, that's not zero. But Nothing's like, impossible. it's rare just because well, – because it would be such a big change mm -hmm. in, in the way that our system is now. It's just so static that – a change would, that big would just be very difficult. It would require, happen. I mean, right now it would require a fiscal crisis, probably profound enough where the government was decided to do something about it. Almost like a coronavirus type, of <laughs> like a, like a Greece crisis, okay. which we gotcha. won't have because our debt is denominated in our own currency. Without going too much into it, but um, but nonetheless, it would require a situation where government was actually broke. Um, right. Before decide we have to fix our tax code, like a crisis crisis. I mean, meaningfully fix yeah. the tax code. I mean, it will hedge it and tweak it and cut it, yeah. but there has not been a meaningful tax hike in a while, which is bonkers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I mean, with all the big, you know, uh, scandals that have come out recently about the amount of pe money that people have hidden here and there, and and how little people are paying taxes, like if if that hasn't already spurred action. I don't know what else we could really see that would yeah. really spur that action and that outrage. Right. right. And maybe Social Security began to insolve it and they needed to use the general fund to pay for it. There's probably some scenario where mm -hmm. government runs out of money, yeah. like legit runs out of money, and we had decide we're going to have to fix our revenue, which is not that hard a problem to fix. It's infuriating how much money is just floating in the economy but sitting idly in banks and investment and hedge funds. Uber should not be overvalued. There's a lot of over, there's many overvalued areas of the economy that's legitimately overvalued because there's a lot of cash put into things that are losing money that should be in the economy or if taxed by the government. It's like a symptom of a broken system that will break eventually. That will be yeah. the, the breakage will be visible eventually. Yeah. This show like it does kinda... eight. This is, this is getting dark. <laughs> I'm not here for happy news. We are I'm all so going to die. Here you, go. Okay, okay. You, you, you will die. You will pay taxes. And you better pay taxes now because they'll go up. <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, rainbows and sunshines. I have two cats and two dogs. I should put pictures. <laughs> I was like, yep. um, great. Talking to point two. Here we go. Um, 
this is an estate planning question from Quora.com. Uh, two of my four adult children have elected to break off their relationships with me. I'm in the process of rewriting my will. I don't want them cut off completely, but I don't want to reward bad behavior. How would you creatively handle this? Okay, <laughs> let me let me divorce people of this. Your will is not where you settle scores. <laughs> okay. <Nice. laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. There you go. That, 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 that's so my what, first what premise. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Okay. By that? I mean, you can say lots of opinions, blah blah, blah but you're dead. <laughs> if you if you want to set the record straight, do it yourself. Stop being a pussy uh, <laughs> and just do it. Tell your children that you hate them, or you disagree with them. Yeah. And also, if two of your children dislike you. What, you might be the common denominator once again. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I, I, that the question asker could be perfectly polite. I don't know why I'm amped about this more than I'm of the tax code, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like neither of us know either. <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna say if you want to do something like this, okay, you you could creatively be an adult. Yeah. And talk to your children. And maybe this is about politics. Maybe you vote differently, or maybe there's some other giant difference. But be, okay, being creative. I don't know. What are you creatively trying to accomplish? Yeah. Leaving them, leaving them a little bit of money because of a fuck you, or are, are you creatively trying to accomplish? I like you less than my other children. Like, what are you trying to really creatively do? If you want to do it, just do it and tell them you've done it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or I, I guess, I mean, could you make, you know, conditional gifts in there? Um, is that something like you, you want can. to talk about? Like, you know, <laughs> should we repair our relationship and the following – because you'd have to have concrete things that could be shown I to love have that. either. Okay, 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 I'm saying this. I'm I don't know. Okay, okay. If you come either to Christmas. You, either you want to leave your estate to your children or you don't. Yeah. Either you love your children equally or you don't. Or if yeah. you like them equally or you don't. Just decide. Yeah. I, this is where I, if a client were in my office, I'm going to push them to just make a decision on it. Okay. Is it conditional on them showing up for Christmas? It could be. But you're dead already. There's yeah. no more Christmases for you. Right. It's not. This is not the medium where you're going to repair that relationship. You mm -hmm. repair the relationship by inviting them over for Christmas. Right. Or not. Yeah, no, I think I think the best yeah. thing the the one like if, if either you want to cut them off or you don't, and if you put anything in there, all you're doing is putting a guilt trip on them for mm -hmm. the rest of their lives. And you're dead still. And you're dead, so they can <laughs> yeah. never they can never come to peace with that because they've gotten a, a middle finger from their parent from the grave. You, you can't come back from that. So basically, it's like okay, if, if you don't want to reward good behavior, but you still love your kids and you want to repair things, yeah, the will is not the way to do it. Right. Yes. Either uh, get things to a point where you want to leave them money in your will, or don't. Or yeah, exactly. So talk to your children. Yeah. If you don't, if you're going to disinherit them, just tell them to disinherit it. Yeah. And move on with your life. Uh, you I ever, promise your life will be a thousand times yeah. better <laughs> if you just and if, face it and move and on. And if you don't want it to seem like you're favoring your other kids over them, don't don't just give their shares to your other kids. Give their shares to a charity. Yeah, that's cool too. Pick a charity your kids are gonna hate. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So kitten murderers like yeah. affiliated. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Pick, pick whatever <laughs> it is. Give it to like if if they're. If, if you hate your kid because they're gay, give it to focus on the family. Whatever it yeah. is, if you're really like, going to rile you know, people up. Give it to either the ACLU or the NRA. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's up to the leanings. Exactly. You have choices. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I, like, but I, think, I, think, but I, I just feel like this is a way of avoiding the actual struggle of being a human yeah. and communicating with other people. And that's exactly right. I yeah. feel like it's kind of like the equivalent of like in middle school when you break up, or I guess in any time in your life when people <laughs> break up over text message mm -hmm. or something like yeah. that. Where it's I, like, I strongly discourage people from breaking up over text unless you only had one date. Even then, I don't think you owe them anything. That's yeah. true. Is there a zone where it's okay to break up over text? I've read like, I've heard people talk maybe about two a rule. Dates? Maybe they two use like baseball hiring practice. I don't know. Baseball hiring? It has you're to do average, with like if it's been like like less than this amount of time or this number of dates, then you don't owe anything. Gotcha. If yeah. it's more than this number of dates, then you have to do it in person and give a reason. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought I was a little stupid. But I think parent child relationships, you probably have crossed that line. That's, that's, that's probably <laughs> yeah. an in person one. Yeah. <laughs> like, Although, I mean, I will. Like, it's, not, it's not you, it's me. Or <laughs> the more hilarious they break up with the child is, it's not me, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> like, You're the worst. And this Although, it's I will say working. it's just not working out. We should stop talking to each other. <laughs> Although I, I will say, you know, my my will, which you know, I'm still 
tweaking, uh, it does specifically disinherit my younger brother. Really? From any potential share that he may receive. Yikes. Um, and I love my little brother, and I told him, I disinherited you. Why did I do that? I thought it was funny. <laughs> Um, I, I made a specific gift to him of of my Xbox and yes. some video games. That's amazing. And that's it. That's that's all he gets. James, also, thought, you might want to you might uncheck the specifically inherited if you did. Get oh an Xbox. oh, you thought this was gonna get dark? I this was gonna get very dark. I no. thought you were gonna be like my brother once did this to me, and it was my no. brother stole my last wife. Or <laughs> no, no, my my brother's like my backup healthcare agent. Like he's a great guy. <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny to disinherit him, so I did. I love that. That's amazing. Yeah, so it'll it would go on probably to his wife because his wife is wonderful. Yeah, or his, um, or his kids. Anyway, yeah. They don't have kids, but okay. You know, did in you, the you didn't extend the disinheritance to his heirs? Uh, I did not. I put that he would be treated as though he has predeceased me. Yeah, it's because I, 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 it's always instead of heir. Sometimes I do like to use objects of my bounty. Of the bounty is like the old person's term. Yeah, that's because a I good think one. it sounds I like funnier. Those, <laughs> I like the whereases and the heretofores. Yeah. Yes. Um, next, next up, I found this fantastic footage on reddit.com which is I love Re- I love reddit I need a, yeah. I need to put up a reddit sign yes oh my god yo we should get us new for the wall or something oh, yeah. um cool um anyway so great uh just to set the scene uh it's a man in a subway here we go those great things happen He was very upset. And also, I have free. I have rights. <laughs> also, uh, no, no offense to him. Is this the, this is a white man who maybe feels the slightest bit of injustice that one time? Yeah. Find an old black dude yeah. <laughs> and be like, tell me about a time that you well, didn't get your way. It's like all these men taking this whole mask issue and saying, how can the government kind of try to control my body? And, and like, all the women. Every woman like, like huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Tell me yeah. more. Come on. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, well, but so, well. so yeah, just to, just to kind of summarize what's happened, because I know, you know, it's like, oh, cool, we got it. The guy walks into a subway not wearing a mask. Obviously, he's a no-masker, I, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, And he demands to have a sandwich, and the woman. It's like a number two, I think. Yeah. 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 What is number two? I don't know what that is. We can look it up. Uh, yeah. I need a judge's their, taste in sandwich. It's probably one of their classic value sandwiches. Nice. Because those are the high, the, like, First couple on the menu. Oh, fantastic, James. I love yeah. your knowledge of the subway menu. It's yeah. really helping out the show. Really, really great. Every episode, <laughs> I've got a subway fact. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a Subway re-brand. really needs to uh, figure out how to market better since Jared and yeah, then this dude. They, they're, they're getting some bad uh, did you, press. Did they, they, they recently uh, got into a thing where it's like they're, they're legally not allowed to call their bread bread anymore. Because <laughs> it has in, uh, in Ireland, yeah, because yeah. there's too much sugar. Yeah. Isn't yep. that crazy? Sorry. Um, okay. you're fine. So anyway, this guy walks into this sandwich <clears throat> shop, Subway, privately owned sandwich shop. Um, Presumably. Woman, yeah. I, hope I don't think it's a state-owned Subway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Man, communist subway would be really weird. <laughs> I hope it'd be better. <laughs> or at least better. communist subway sandwich orders you. <laughs> anyway, sorry, um, <laughs> even cut you off. And so, uh, yeah, the woman behind the counter is like a very sweet person, obviously, and she's doing great. And she's like, "Hey, sir, policy says we can't serve you." Uh, let me throw it to you guys. Um, first question: Does the man have a free? <laughs> I am free. <laughs> I have free. Uh, does he have a right to be served a sandwich from a privately owned business? No. Absolutely not. Okay. Not well. Not they could. Some way could discriminate for so every reason flat, except yeah. for like five. Okay. Yeah. Name the five: race, religion, national origin, some sex, and something else. Uh. <laughs> I know in some national states, identity, I think yeah. orientation. What, what, I sexual think some orientation? some states do cover sexual orientation, so, yeah. gender identity. They say yeah, race, religion, national origins, jet, 
I forgot. But I used to know that. It's a very specific set <laughs> it's of, in the civil of rights protected Act. classes, yeah. right? Of, okay. of, of specific things that they cannot oh, discriminate God, like Rick, on the basis of. I feel like Rick Perry trying to remember the agencies he was going to cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't remember the third one, but it's a good one. I went to school for 28 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. It, no, he has no right to a Subway sandwich. Yeah. Unless they're like specifically kicking him out because he's you know, yeah, you know, and I think white. if he sued, the st- they would find that the state has a rational basis on. Well, great, it's not even a state law. It's not a rule. state. It's the not state, a state actor. They're but, a private company. They can the, kick anybody out they want. Yeah, but even if the state had said you have to have masks in your private business, but I think Subway voluntarily done it. But I think it would be upheld. I mean, that law would still be upheld in Georgia. What if he was trying to get a Subway sandwich for his gay wedding? Could he get <laughs> Okay, the, okay, okay, the pens. First if he off, wanted, do better. Yeah. <laughs> one, one, I don't know any gay people who would serve a sub at their wedding. Yeah, all but, the gays love Jersey Mike's. Everybody knows that. Let me let me call my husband and be like, fuck, we should have got a sub. <laughs> it would have been so much cheaper. Yeah. Uh, but, um. If they if they probably wouldn't have, but unless he wanted Subway to like make all the vegetables yeah, align with some gay agenda, that's thing. What he wants. And the, I and support the, gay rights. And Subway and might be able to say no. The franchise owner is very conservative Christian, and he, he knows that these subs are going to go to a gay wedding. Can the Subway owner probably say no? Not. Probably not. Okay, so probably okay, if they're asking him to do something different. And the sub context is harder because there's not there's only one type of sub. I'm trying to think how you can gay up a sub. I mean the the wedding cake Glitter. cases I don't know. The I'm wedding sorry. cake cases nice. were stri- <laughs> wedding cases were more straightforward because yeah. Derek was like they were specifically a gay thing yeah. or the couple okay. it had the couple's name on it or gotcha. two grooms on it. So yeah. it would be different. Okay. But it would, it would be different but equal. I can't think of a way you can make like a differently a, 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 a gay sub, sub. A, yeah. like a, like a, like a like a gay or sub. It's like turkey whatever but maybe it's some particular gay meat or something that's in there. Extra like, turkey, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know why turkey was the first one that came to mind. Like what's a particularly gay meat? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and I'm gonna take that back, <laughs> but um, oh <laughs> like, but I, uh, but theoretically, I mean, if there was something like that, Georgia law wouldn't protect that. Gotcha. Um, but if they were like, if the guy was not being served because he was black or because he was Jewish or something, then the law, they, they, some would be in a um, or problem. I think it would also be if he has a disability. Disability, that's yes, ADA yes, also. Gotcha. And that's where this gets a little dicey because people are saying that it's like, oh, I have a disability, so I can't wear a mask. Yeah. It's, yeah, you would have to be a well founded claim of disability, like uh, something that a doctor could diagnose you with. Okay, if yeah. you were the kind of person who are born, I can see an argument, like let's say you have a, f- I don't know, some sort of facial issue maybe where you couldn't wear a mask because I don't know no ears your head was weirdly shaped yeah um oh no that, ears no, that's, that's true that doesn't cover it but you, they have those things you can 3d print yeah that's true that's you true print. you can also get like so like rubber band like some sort Face of band mask. thing like mm-hmm. a lot like, uh, like a welding shield yeah you can, you can wear well I want to wear a I'm welding tr- shield I'm oh, trying like so the ones hard. that are clear plastic that you really shouldn't use for welding yeah 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 I'm trying to think of a scenario where you physically couldn't wear a mask but I'm really you can keep thinking but there isn't maybe, one. <laughs> maybe you're like some sort That's of true. burn victim yeah. and you can't have things on your face or something. Okay. Oh. But I'm, I doubt you're going out to get a sub. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You probably so, are recovering from that burn thing. Yeah. A lot of people say, well, I have asthma, so I can't wear a mask. I have asthma. I wear a mask. You can breathe through all the your, time. You can breathe with a mask. Now, no, I'm not these... wearing a mask right now because I'm in my bubble. Yeah. yeah. It'd but, be weirdly weird if people yeah. couldn't breathe in a mask because people would just be like dropping like flies everywhere. Clearly, right. you can breathe with a mask. So, yeah. what, start, if he yeah. has, what if he has one of those laminated pieces of paper that says, I am a member of the No Mask Society and I'll sue you if you. That, okay, what? That's... Bring it on. <laughs> yes, I was like, "Are you sure?" Like Bring the filing fee is. I don't even think you could make. Uh, you, you, you could get that lawsuit dismissed pretty quickly. But if yeah. that cost you more money than getting a mask or a sub, <laughs> filing yes. your complaint. Bring it on. Bring it on, and then then let let the person you're trying to sue hire a decent lawyer who's going to go Honestly, for your. I don't even know if you on need attorney it. fees. Well, it's true. That's true. You could, you, yeah. yeah. You, you could get you could beat that fees, back per se. Frivolous filing shit. Oh. 
Beautiful. <laughs> I'll just be like, be I'm nice. going to charge like a be zillion. A I'm yeah. now a $700 an hour attorney, and I'm going to bill the hell out yeah. of this case. Well, because I think if you're suing Subway, that's not like the individual franchise owner that's getting sued. It's oh, no, so dude, you're suing the customer. So with those, so, like, cards, with those cards, it says you. Oh, oh I'm not suing the customer. No, I'm saying the customer's I'm suing doing, the I'm su- Oh, yeah, yeah, but then I'm going to respond to get attorney I'm not going to sue some but, jag with no, one no, of those no. cards. But I, I want attorney's fees from the customer who's making that. Oh, case. that, yeah, 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 for sure. So I, I will own his house. So those cards <laughs> specifically say that you, the employee, are yeah. liable in this situation. And the individual yeah. employee, the target employer, the subway employee in this situation, the yeah. nice woman who's like, hey, sir, I can't serve you. She personally, not subway, but she is liable. She's no, it not is liable. illegal for you to talk to me while making eye contact. And if you talk to me while making eye contact, yeah. you are liable. I'm and I will sue you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's so about that's about the same that's legal. That's what that card is. What yeah. I just did there, that's that card. I love You can't that. just make shit up. Oh, yes, exactly. I get, I get yeah. threatened to sue her. She hasn't put the right amount of like oil mayonnaise. and vinegar on There's my sub. Like, oh, if they put yeah. mayonnaise on my sub, they're taking it back. I mean, yeah. I will not pay for that sub I with mean, mayonnaise. You know, me. There's that old, you know, that old saying is like, just because you see it on, if you, you know, just because it's on TV doesn't mean it's true. Yeah. Just because it's laminated yeah. doesn't mean it's true. Gotcha. Yes. And Anybody I'll, can laminate I'll, whatever they want. And I'll also, I'll, you don't I'll, even need I'll, a lamination machine. I'll you do it with an iron. I'll extend that all to all seasoned assist letters. When someone sends you a seasoned assist letter, do it's off the, you are not it is not binding and if yeah. they are legally wrong that if i demand that my neighbor i don't know build a bridge between our houses or i'll sue him or i, yeah. I demand or i rather excuse uh, or i demand anything if it's not supported by law he has still something to do it Ooh, and here's a free <laughs> pro tip for all the listeners if you get a cease and desist letter and it has an attorney listed do not call the number on the on the letter. You need to look the attorney up online. Yeah. Find yes. their official website and call that number. Yeah. And then be like, hey, like I got Did this letter. Did you actually send this? Yeah. Or is this a load of shit? <laughs> yes. And if they said yes, we sent it, hang up, don't talk to them, keep carrying on. Yeah. Yes. Make sure it's a lawyer. Look in the state bar website. See if that person is a lawyer. And that, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. super interesting it's, because yeah. the person could potentially either they could be make one, up a letterhead. They're they're not a <laughs> legitimate lawyer. Or number two, maybe the person who wrote the letter per, like puts a different it. number in. Gotcha. Yeah, yes, exactly. Okay. That is a thing. They could be yep. frauding you. Yep. Or maybe they like re. They said, "Hey, my lawyer said this was bad," but then they like made it way worse and like yeah, uh, yeah they just like you know make something up and they put their own numbers that way when you call it's like yes i am a lawyer right <laughs> it's, it's yeah yeah gotcha but just because someone threatened you doesn't mean it doesn't make it true um <laughs> i'm gonna throw this to you guys uh I, we're getting a little late in the show here so we got probably one more t- um topic to go we can talk about um uh we could talk about the situation where um your parents left you something but your your siblings didn't get anything and now it's an awkward situation we can talk about that that it could, it could link back that's almost brings back to the okay. question. we could talk about um studying marijuana and how it could potentially help covid uh victims or we could talk about um uh this woman that she uh, she's dying, but she doesn't think she's dying. So she's giving, uh, she's giving away parts of her estate. Um, but the inheritor of the estate uh, is kind of pissed off and is like, "Man, like, can I?" So that last one's, I think, the most interesting. Yes, I, 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 it, 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 it like okay. riles me up already. Because, because here's the thing: an interest under a will mm-hmm. um, is is completely. It's, it's nothing until the person dies. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Let's, let's, do, let's, let's do question three. And also, then here, there's kind of a, a little bit entitled. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> um, a woman I know is dying. She has a will clearly indicating her daughter as the sole inheritor of her estate. She does not believe she is dying and has begun giving her sister family heirlooms for safekeeping. Who keeps the heirlooms when she dies? The sister. It depends. So mm-hmm. the sister could... Okay, it depends if Sister A gave it to Sister B for the benefit of her daughter. Like, it's one thing if yeah. it's, like, a four-year-old. She could oh, have created yeah. a trust. That word for safekeeping yeah. is a thing. If it is, if it is, hey, can you hold on to this for me, and you're not actually giving up ownership, Yeah, then it would go to the daughter. But if it was fully given as a gift, then it belongs to the sister. Right. I, these are one of those things I would suggest putting in writing, even with, like, a little note. <laughs> be like okay. this is for my daughter, but uh, your uh, your daughter is four years old, mm-hmm. it, and she knows she's she, okay. 
I assume she knows she's dying eventually. <laughs> so it, it will happen to all of us. But um, but let's say she's actually sick and she has like a do young daughter and she's like, I'm giving it to my sister because a four year old's not going to be able to keep it and her dad is not going to be, is not going to keep up with it. So I want the family heirlooms for my daughter to stay in the family and my sister will watch it. So that's technically a trust. And if the sister is not a jackass, she'll give it to the daughter anyway like these are your mom's family heirlooms um i'm a i'm a mature person who realizes that she would want things that her mom had yeah so so uh, which is the 99 percent of normal people yeah, <laughs> yeah. so right. the the verbiage though for safekeeping like that's that important is, that yeah, is very important. very important Could, what she meant by safekeeping yeah right. that is not a gift right that it's it's to, to give intended. to someone, it's to it's to I guess I guess transfer custody, but not ownership. Exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Um, because, but like I said, if she does, so if this is an, is an heirloom and she's giving it to the sister, um, then it stays with the sister. Because no, yeah, even if even if she wrote in the will specifically, the grandfather clock goes to my daughter. Um, if she then gives it to her sister before she dies, then that specific exactly. gift goes away. The will wow. only can pass objects you own at your t at the time of your death. So, if I gave away all my money, not my will has there's not much to give in my will. Um, and same for like things like insurance policies or stuff like that that have beneficiaries on them. It the it's like that goes to the beneficiary. It's not mine to give in my will. Um, so it's you know, if I inherit a million dollars and then get hit by a bus, I mean that is mine to give in a will now. So that right passes through. But if you give stuff away, you're allowed to deplete your estate. Yeah. The will is not a binding document until the day you die. So you can change it. You can amend it. Someone can make you mad at Thanksgiving. The prior beneficiary has no obligate, has no legal right to it until somebody's until literal yes yeah, the most recent will at the time someone dies <laughs> the most recent will it's someone signed of sound mind and with knowledge of what like they were doing properly executed all that good yeah stuff. so yeah. moral of the story assuming yeah assuming it's legal yeah the will is more like inst an instruction document it's not gonna like go and save some asset that you gave yeah. away no no yeah. Yeah. yeah unless yeah. unless someone stole it then your right. executor has the right to go get it back right. um mm -hmm. but but they have it doesn't get like a magic right. It, it, it's, it's say my will expose says that I leave my Fabergé eggs to my husband. Do you have a lot of those? No, and I have oh. no Fabergé eggs. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing fails, but he has no right to like to like go back in. Actually, I'm and if you if you want to troll somebody, I guess you can leave particularly valuable items to people that you're have okay relationships with. Yeah. They'd be like, I'm leaving my garden. No, not my garden. That's, that's a dick thing to do. I'm leaving I'll, if I leave my brother like a collection of art I never own, he'll yeah. think it's funny. But yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like I <laughs> like leave him my Mercedes. Yeah. They're like, I didn't you own a Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can put little little jokes now, and little bits in your will. Now that's that. not to say if somebody does something so like if you have an interest under a will and somebody does something like fraudulent or anything like that, there there are situations where you would have a remedy in, in tort law, mm -hmm. right? Which is like a whole different can of worms that we won't get into. So so don't listen to this and say, oh, I guess I have nothing I can do. You might, but, yeah. but it's not through the will. Okay. Yes. And I would say, yeah, the sister might need to work on her estate plan generally. Yeah. Because like, there's ways she can do exactly. If she if she's concerned about the safekeeping and stuff like that, I would recommend she do talk. She does talk with yeah. an estate attorney do to get that board structure on the table, so they get in everything writing. in writing, so yeah. that both the sister who's giving the items for safekeeping and the sister who's receiving it are on the same page. Because mm -hmm. there might be a material misunderstanding. If this, if yeah, like both ways one sister even the sister who's giving it for safekeeping thinks she's giving her other sister a gift and the, or the one who's getting it think who's getting it for safekeeping thinks it's hers you kind of want to clear that up so that there's not a giant misunderstanding and or legal fight later on yeah guys thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this make sure you like it post a comment with your thoughts we'd love to hear what you're thinking and jump in the comments have a little argument with you if you want to argue with us that'd be great uh also if you could share this video if it resonated with you and you think it could help other people that would be fantastic guys if you would like a will estate plan or just about anything else regarding end of life legacy preservation uh give us a call at 404-939-7562 or send us an email um it is info at modernestateplanning.com or post a comment and we will help you there too guys thanks so much for watching have a great day.